Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you how to save a lot of money by making your own container mix or your own potting mix. When you go to the big box stores, you're going to see all kinds of things there. Stuff for raised beds, topsoil, premium topsoil, garden soil, stuff for the ground, stuff for containers, potting mixes. It just, it's crazy. And it's all basically the same products used in different ways. Now first off, if you go and buy a bag of potting mix like this, this is 64 dry quarts, about two and a half cubic feet. This is the most expensive way to fill your containers. It's gonna cost you 10, 12, 14, even $16 for a bag this size. And when you get in there, it always says premium potting mix, special formula, blah, blah, blah. And it's nothing really but wood chips. You can see chips of wood, peat moss, perlite, maybe some vermiculite i doubt it but they put in you know the perlite these little white things in here just to make it look let's see if i can grab one just to see just so that you see it and it looks like it's a special formulation most expensive way to buy your potting mix and you can do that if you want it usually has fertilizer i'm also going to show you how to prepare this organically with an organic fertilizer a couple products that you want to buy first thing is is this is a three cubic foot bale of peat moss. You can find them in many places. This was $10.49. This is what most of your container mixes and potting mixes contain. Three cubic feet, $10.49. It'll cost you up to $14. This will make a lot of container mix. This is what you want to buy. It's always going to be about 50% of the peat moss. That holds water, doesn't have any nutritional value, but it holds water, that's what you want in your containers. Now we're gonna mix that with some other products. Let's start over here. You can get a premium topsoil, which is just topsoil, and peat moss again, that's $2.09 a bag, and that's 0.75 cubic feet, and that's what I recommend. You wanna spend about two bucks. The miracle Grow in here is usually like four something. Don't buy that. It's too expensive. It's the same stuff I just showed you, but it has a little bit of fertilizer in it. But it was on sale for $2. So if you can find a premium topsoil, a garden soil, these are both just basically dirt and peat moss, and they're inexpensive that way. If you don't want to go that way, you can go to just plain old topsoil. That's 40 pounds for $1.69, and you can mix that with the peat moss, and I'm gonna show you how to make all these mixes. Mix that with the peat moss and you're gonna have a fine container soil, or you can use your garden soil. So you could just use peat moss in your garden soil. Now, if you have compost, if you've been composting leaves, um, grass, and other food um, from your kitchen, you can also use that. If not, you could go and buy some. Cow manure straight is about $4.97 a bag. The Scots, uh, hum yeah, hummus. Humus and manure was $2.97. You don't need to add that into there, but you can if you find it on sale. Key point, big bale of peat moss. The other products that you want to use that are less expensive, we're going to blend it together, and I'm going to show you how you can make a couple different versions of great container mixes that will hold water, take care of your plants, and save you money. So I wanted to be clear, the peat moss there is milled peat moss. That's 100% peat moss. We're going to use at least 50% of peat moss in all of our mixes. And I want to show you what it looks like up close. It comes mostly dry, and this is going to retain a lot of water. If you don't want to use peat moss, you could get cocoa core, but I haven't been able to find it in the quantities that I needed at a, at a decent price. So we're going to use 50% peat moss in most of the mixes, and everything is going to be in parts. So first mix we're going to make is with the topsoil. It's one part topsoil, and again, that could be your garden soil. One equal part of peat moss. It doesn't have to be exact, and we're going to blend them together. Now, peat moss is dry, so I do recommend putting some water in it. And I usually do this in a big container or in a wheelbarrow, um, but I can't really add water here because it's just going to pour everywhere. But for the sake of mixing, I wanted to do it this way to show you. So just remember that peat moss can be dry. You want to add some water into it and get it pre-moisten before you mix it together. Also peat moss can be acidic but it's not as acidic as we think because you're mixing in other products because water's a pH of 7 it kind of neutralizes over time but we're going to add in some garden lime to the peat, peat moss a little bit for the pH value to raise it up a little bit um, but more so to add calcium to the soil because you really want calcium in your container mixes. And then I'll show you what I do with the organic fertilizer. So this is the basic and most inexpensive version of making your container mix and I'm going to show you a couple of them. 
first thing is, is this is the topsoil, 40 pound bag. If you don't want to buy the topsoil, you can go ahead and use your garden soil. Equal parts, equal parts of topsoil or garden soil, equal parts of peat moss. And you're just going to blend them together. This again is going to be 50% um, of the mix and it's what the peat moss is going to hold the water. Now, a handful of lime, that's all you really need. About that much, maybe two tablespoons, one or two just sprinkled in there. That will help neutralize some of the acidity. You don't really have to worry about that, but just mix it in. Because as you blend it with the other mixes, with the other parts of your mix, it kind of all balances out in the end. And this is where you just have to get in here, mix your soil together. And again, if you do this in a big container, sometimes it's a little bit easier, but this is sort of the best part of gardening. If you get to get in there and really mix things up. So this is what the final mix of the 40 pounds of topsoil or your garden soil if you want to use it directly looks like when it's together. And actually this could use another shovel full worth of garden soil or topsoil in there but it looks pretty good. This is what potting mix looks like. It's going to cost you you know 10 to 16 dollars a bag. It pretty much begins to mirror that. Now, if you're worried about the acidity of the peat moss, you could add in another thing of lime just now. You don't have to. And to put in some basic organic fertilizer, I recommend a 555 fertilizer, somewhere close to that. The numbers can be a little bit lower, a little bit higher. And again, just a handful across the top. Mix it in another handful and that's just going to set up your fertilizer or your container mix with some organic fertilizer. We're going to put more fertilizer in the container when we fill the containers and plant the plants. But this is just a nice basic setup. And again, I just want to stress the 40 pound bag of topsoil was I think a dollar 69 and then we just bought this big bale of peat moss for 10.49 and we've only used a portion of it. A lot of container mix and this maybe cost you know five dollars altogether to make. Now we're going to continue. We're going to add in some of the cow manure and kind of go to version two of container mix. All right so we made the first round of our container mix and now we're going to kind of make it a premium mix. We'll just go right to that then I'm going to show you a third way to make it. There's not a lot of nutrition in there, in there except for what we put in with the fertilizer. Um, peat moss is a great organic matter for retaining water, but it doesn't add a lot nutritionally to your container mix. So here's where you could go ahead, put your compost in, that would save you money. And again, we spent $1.69 here for the 40 pound bag. If you use your own garden soil, you save money there. Equal parts of peat moss to topsoil mixed in there. Now, again, it's going to be about equal parts. You can use any manure that you want. We're going to use half a bag of, whoa, of the cow manure. That's about half of a part. And then we're going to use the humus and manure here, about half a bag. And just continue, con consider that an equal part to the topsoil or garden soil, the peat moss that was there, and now an equal part of manure. And again, mix it in by hand. You wear gloves if you want to. Let me get through this. We'll take a look how it looks when we're done. So the manure or compost have been mixed through, and you can see how wonderful this is starting to look. And I just want to be clear with the ratios. Remember when we first started, it was one part topsoil right there, one part peat moss over here, and then you're actually using a matching part to that, one part of manure or compost right there. I just want to make sure you didn't think that it was the whole pile that you had one part of compost matching that, or that'll be too much. So it was one part, one part, one part, and this is what you end up with. And again, here's the potting mix that's really expensive. Here's what we've created. And this, if you're buying it, 
not even using your own garden soil or your own compost, was $1.69 for that bag. That was about $3 worth of compost mix in there and maybe a dollar, two bucks worth of peat moss at the most. So it's really, really inexpensive. And you can use this for your raised beds too. And just to give you an idea, this is a five gallon bucket. So this is how much we've made. And we still have a huge bale of peat moss left and we can use the other products. Let me get to that. All right, so let's get to our last mix. Now the first two ways I showed you are essentially how I do it. And again, you don't have to follow it exactly but just take it as principles. You want 50% peat moss, or you could use cocoa core. That's gonna be your matter that holds water, and that's what you really want. So now we're going to the topsoil, which usually has dirt and peat moss already mixed in there. One bag. And you're basically just substituting this for your garden soil or that topsoil, and it just has more organic matter in there. You're going to match it with an equal part of peat moss, and essentially it's the same, but what I know is so many different gardeners from so many different places watch this, you may not always be able to get what I show you, so substitute it out if you can. About equal parts. We tossed on a handful of lime. Last time, two handfuls of the fertilizer. And again, you could just mix this together, which I'll do. That's a great start. Let's put an equal part of the manure. And it's not much different than what we did before. This has more peat moss in there because of the premium mix had peat moss in it. This is the basic principle. I just wanted to show it to you one more time so that you have a sense you can use different products to build this. You could throw in a couple shovelfuls of compost if you have that too into this. You could throw in a couple shovelfuls of your garden soil, but you've created a great container mix that's gonna save you a lot of money. It has compost, it's got organic fertilizer in there, you've got lime in there, and this is all you really need to have great container plants. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gave you some idea and some confidence to build your own container mix. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.